everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. My name is Darlene. Today I'm going to be reviewing this right here. It is a soil tester. It says that it's a four in one meter. So we'll get right into this. If you know anything about me, I love plants. I have a lot of plants. Most of my plants are hydroponics, so I do not have them in moi um, in soil. I have them in leka or water, but I do have a few plants that I still have in soil. So that's what I'm going to be testing out today is the water on those. So this is how it comes. And I will be linking where you can actually purchase this down in the description box below if you guys are interested if you're like me and you like plants and you want to stay on top of your watering game because you don't want to overwater and you don't want to underwater so that's what these things are great for it does look like you do need batteries you do you need four triple a batteries so let me go around my house and try to find batteries my kids always snatch all the batteries so wish me luck Okay, so I did find four AAA batteries. Okay, so the light is now on. And they have the temperature. I don't know how to change it because it's on Celsius. Okay, so it says it's 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and then let's go ahead and get a plant. So this is a plant that I actually have in soil right now. So let's go ahead and test this. So all you wanna do is take the little red plastic thing off and you want to stick it down in the soil. So the soil is 68 degrees. The pH is 7.0 or 7.0 to 7.2, it keeps changing. So that's the pH. This is the temperature. So it's saying that it has low sun and it's dry. So it's saying that this plant is dry, but it's definitely not dry. I just got through watering this. It's wet, but it's saying it's dry. But if you can see, take one of my hydroponic plants that I have right now. So I have this guy right here, which is in straight up water. So if I put it in here, it says that it's normal. So it's saying that that's moist. And it's 64 degrees, but this is actually, that would be like too wet. That would not be moist. So that, hmm. Let me try another one of my plants that are in soil. Okay, so I have two different Mangonians right here that I'm going to test the soil on. So I'm just gonna stick it in. Okay. And as you can see, it's saying that it's dry and it's not dry. It is definitely not dry. Let me check this other one real quick. Okay, this says it's wet. So this one's, which this one is wet. Maybe that one is dry. So it's saying that this one is wet. Let me check this over here. So it's saying that this one's dry. Which the roots are actually growing out of the bottom. But it actually has moisture at the bottom. I don't know, maybe it is dry though. So it's not, it's like the soil is slightly moist, but I wouldn't say that it's wet, not necessarily wet. Um, it definitely, is not dry, but it's not wet, it's moist. It's like slightly moist, but it's saying that this one is wet, which it really, like this one has a lot more water than that one, uh, most definitely. But let me check my Hoya real quick. Okay, so I'm gonna check my Hoya, which I actually have hanging 
above my head. You guys can't see these plants because they're not visible to you. Let me go ahead and lay it down without messing up the vines. Let me kind of point this down a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. So I am just going to put this in here. So it's saying that this one is normal, which I would say this is pretty normal. It's like not super um, wet. It's not wet, but it does have um, like some moisture to it. As you can see, it's not dry. Um, Hoyas do not like to dry out. So you want to make sure that they are slightly wet. And usually when they start, if this one's a little soft right here. Um, when all the leaves start feeling like that, like you shouldn't be able to bend them. They should be like more like this, just like a little more like succulent like. Um, that's when you know to water it is when the leaves get soft. Um, which not all the leaves are soft, but the soil is still a little moist. So I will wait probably a few more days before I actually water this. Now the pH on this, it says is... 7.2, which is, I think, pretty much what it said earlier. That must be just like the pH of my water. That's 7.2. That's pretty accurate. So that's how you test out that. Let me go ahead and put my Hoya back, and I want to check one more plant real quick. Okay, so that was an arm workout. I tell you what. Okay, so this is my other plant that I kind of want to check. The pH. This is my Philodendron varicosum, which is my baby. I actually made this moss pole myself. Um, so I'm going to scoot this back a little bit so you guys can see. This is my first ever moss pole. So this is my first ever moss pole that I made. And this is my, like I said, varicosum. Um, I do have it in LECA. I do not have it in soil. I like to grab the extra um, like moss and I put it around the, the nodes so that it can actually grow roots into the moss so that I get a much prettier plant. I don't want this to fall. Okay, so I want to check the pH on the water on here. So it is still on pH. So let's go ahead. So the pH on this is 6.9 to 7.0, which I think is pretty good. All my plants will absolutely love water. My plants are doing amazing. And Lekka actually transferred this one right here into Lekka recently and it's already growing a ton of water roots and it just put out this new leaf right here. This was the two leaves that it came with when I bought it, but it's already put out another leaf. So that's how happy they do. It also came with these little tags. I believe it came with these. So right here, so that if you want to, um, Put your names on your plants and um, that's what these are really great for or maybe you want to keep track of the pH week to week you can actually put something like that onto there um, put the pH and then put it into the soil that way you know or whatever pH that Pacific plant is supposed to stay at you could do something like that with these it didn't really have any instructions that came with it like on how to use it but that's how I use it. I know that they say that the multi ones are not as accurate. I have not had any issues with these, like the multi-use ones. Um, but I know a lot of plant people complain about it. It also has this little plastic thing that you can take off. So, I mean, I have no issues with it. I will use this most definitely, especially when it comes to watering my Hoya. Yeah. So I have a couple of pothos and then philodendron lemon limes. So I have those up on my camera in the kitchen and I terrified of overwatering because I have a very 
heavy watering hands. So if you are like me and you want to keep your plants alive, something like this is great to have. Um, I don't know how accurate it is because it's like it's saying, let me show you again. So it's saying that this is normal or now it's saying it's dry. Okay, so now it's saying it's normal, which that would be considered wet. And then it's saying that this right here, I don't want to mess up any of my leaves, is dry, but it's actually slightly moist. So I don't know how accurate that is. Because, I mean, like like I showed you, the soil is moist and it's saying that it's dry. So, hmm. So, like I said, I don't know how accurate this thing is because I know that that plant, I just literally watered it and the soil is mo moist. I don't know if, like, maybe down, like, deeper if it's dry. Let me go ahead and stick my finger in. Because <laughs> I don't want to be saying that this thing's not accurate if it is. So, I'm going to stick my finger way down in here. No, it's pretty much, it's pretty moist. Um, it's not wet, it's moist um, all the way down. I didn't like oversaturate it. I just stuck it in a bowl of water and let it absorb the amount of water that it wanted. And that's usually how I water the majority of my plants. I just let them absorb their own water because I don't like watering from top because like if you have any flowers or anything, it can damage them. And it's just easier to water them that way because if you pour it on top, it like some of the water just drains out and it doesn't fully wet the entire plant. And I don't want parts of my plant to die. So that's how I prefer to water them. So I know that this thing was watered well. So honestly, I don't know how accurate this thing is. Um, it seems like on some of the plants, it works well. I don't know if it's because that soil maybe have a lot of perlite or something that's absorbing a lot of the soil. So it's not getting a good... Um, a good reading on it but it seems like I don't know I have no clue but yeah so this is my experience with this I don't know who has experience otherwise with these things let me know in the comment section down below what's your favorite plant monitor water monitor I guess you would say um to let me know because I love plants. I'm growing my collection. I'm actually getting a, um, pasta, a pasta, philodendron pasta is what they call it. It's pasta, something else. I'm horrible at pronouncing names, but I'm actually getting one of those hopefully Saturday. So I'm super excited about that because that was one of my wish lists. I have a philodendron gloriosum and I stuck it in water because I want to go hydroponic on it and all the roots rotted off. So I'm in the process of rerooting it in some stagnant moss. So it, I already see a root coming in. So I know that the plant's going to survive. So I'm happy about that. But I did lose all my big leaves, which I'm a little heartbroken. So I don't know if I'm going to transfer the pasta into water yet. I probably end up will because they do so much better in water. But we will see. I may, if I do, I may just end up rooting it in um, stagnant moss like I'm doing now because it didn't do really well in just water. So we'll see how that goes. I will keep you guys updated, but yeah. So that completes this video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell down in the corner below. That way you'll be notified every time that I do upload a video. But until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye. God bless.